your health, and going broke. That was everybody's biggest fear. Beaches all along the Gulf Coast are clean, they are safe, and they are open for business. I think BP realized it and we realized it as well that it was more cost effective for them to sink it and to hide it and disperse it than it was to just clean it up. They just got us out there to get us in front of the camera so when they flew over with the helicopters they could say that we was out there cleaning oil up when we wasn't doing nothing but sinking oil and just making a showing. I don't want dispersants to be the Agent Orange of this oil spill. They are not telling the truth about the dispersant that was allowed to be put out to make the oil go away. Dispersed oil uh, I have put out a written directive, and I can provide it for the record, that says the uh, media will have uninhibited access anywhere we're doing operations, except for two things, if it's a security or a safety problem. Can I ask a quick question? In regards to what? Oh, I can't mean, answer anything. Still... Have you guys actually asked BP to stop using this person? I can't comment on anything like that. you got to go to the JIC. No. You don't know who you work for? No, ma'am. All I can tell you is we have never had, never used any dispersants. Would you swim in the water right now? I can't comment on that. Uh, can't comment on that. Are you recording? If you'll turn your camera off, I'll tell you what I see. Can I help you? Nobody seems to know where all the stuff's going. Turn that off for me for a minute? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, you turn it off for me, sir? Yeah, I'll turn it off. Under the shroud of darkness, they would come in and do their thing. It was a huge cover-up. I mean, what do y'all want me to tell you? That it's all good, because it ain't all good. All these commercials running around about all the Alabama commercial fishermen saying it's all good, it's all good. Uh, where, who are these guys? We don't know them, and I thought we knew everybody. I'd say nobody has a clue. Uh, honestly, we don't have a clue. Some species are showing up great. Other species aren't showing up at all. The mammals, porpoises, dolphins, dying like crazy. Everybody's keeping the stuff quiet. BP has got a big blame in that. And a lot of other things has happened, you know, throughout the whole region. And I can't do a thing about it, but just go out of business. But I know things aren't right. Um, they got butterfish that's spitting up purple stuff and their bellies are rotting out of them before they can get them back to market. I know the crabs are dying. There's just so many things that's out of place. That's your biggest baseline. Never before. You know, they said, well, we need a baseline. Never before is a hell of a baseline. I've been crying all my life. I ain't never seen this baby. There is no seafood tested nearly as much, not even a fraction as much, as the seafood that's coming out of the Gulf of Mexico. And uh, the, the seafood is wholesome. And it's just like somebody took a paint gun and splattered oil all over the bottom, dead animals everywhere. The ecology of the system has been altered. You know, and people can deny that all they want, but I'm not the only one who's seen it. You know, people who've been out there and looked on the seafloor, they've seen oiled corals, they've seen oiled crabs, they've seen oiled animals, they've seen, you know, seafloors that's just void of life in terms of megafauna and macrofauna. Those things, those sorts of things are going to take years to recover from, if not decades. A judgment call was made with the help of a scientific panel to continue spraying dispersants even though the EPA had told BP to limit the amount to a certain level and BP uh, largely seems to have ignored what the EPA told them to do.
it could have been prevented. That's the worst part, is this didn't have to happen.